Welcome to my budget and I'm in friendly VIAS guide, which I'm putting together following a request from the comments of a previous video. In this guide, I'll cover the optimal ways to train at VIAS for a variety of setups, as depending on your levels and gear, the optimal method will be slightly different. Typically, people train at VIAS to level up their prayer, as VIAS can provide rates of over 350,000 prayer XP per hour with high end setups, while simultaneously training fire making, farming, and earning millions of GP and supplies. I'll cover expected XP rates for each of the different setups I discuss later, and there are timestamps in the video description. The only real requirement for VIA training is completing River of Blood to unlock the full Tier 78 Sun Spear, which auto cremates VIA corpses as you kill them for XP. The technique is pretty simple you attack the VIA, it dies, and you get XP. Below level 90, you get 210 per XP and 155 making XP per kill. And post level 90, you get 280 and 200 XP per kill instead. The technique really comes down to what should your gear and inventory setup be, and where should you stand in Darkmire to kill the most Vyas with your setup. I'll be focusing on melee because melee gives the easiest access to powerful AoE abilities without relying on high end unlocks like Corruption Blast or Greater Chain, but you can easily adapt this guy to any combat style. Let's start by covering some general nice to haves. Firstly, Cedarside, which you get from the Cabbage Face Punch Bonanza or Player in Farms. Cedarside converts seed drops directly into XP without having to plant the seeds, and can net you XP rates of up to 100,000 farming XP per hour if you destroy all the seeds at Vyas. Second, Mauritania Elite Diaries for the Mauritania Legs 4, which increase the prayer and fire making XP per kill by 50% if you wear them, which is obviously a huge increase in your XP rates. Third, 500 Vyar cremations at the Padodomus Temple. Each block of 50 Vyar corpses cremated boosts the sun spear damage against Vyars by 10, stacking up to 100 after 500 corpses. Corpses ultra cremated by the sun spear do not count. You need to cremate them manually by hand at the crematorium. There's some conflicting information on the wiki and Reddit about whether this bonus applies to Vyar lords and ladies, which is what we're killing, but their general consensus is that we think it does. You can see how many corpses you've cremated by checking your sun spear. Last, having Invention unlocked is pretty useful, both for the perks and also so you can train Invention. The exact perks you have aren't particularly important here, but I would recommend Scavenging, as it will add quite a bit to your profit per hour, as it will proc quite a lot here for some potentially rare components. Let's get into more detail on your exact setup. First up, I'll cover High End, and by this I mean basically, have you unlocked Soul Split? For the higher end Soul Split setup, you want to bring Power Armor suitable to your combat style, like God Wars 1 or 2 Armor. Otherwise, just bring your best DPS jewelry in your other slots, like a Dragon Rider amulet. I have a Ring of Life here because I'm a cowardly hardcore, but probably bring a DPS ring or a luck ring if you're not a hardcore. Obviously, the most important item here, and the only one required for killing Vyas, is the Sun Spear. You can use it for any style, and it is an absolute requirement for training at Vyas. If you have level 92 prayer and Soul Spear unlocked, then you should be able to completely sustain your HP with just this prayer. With this setup, your main concern is keeping your prayer points up. The higher tier Salvation, Corruption, and Harmony Auras are your best bet here, as they give you prayer points back for gaining prayer XP. Given the high amount of prayer XP you get at Vyas, this makes it easy to sustain without bringing any other source of prayer restoration. Alternatively, the Penance Aura is also viable, which gives you prayer points as you take damage, although it's not as good as the Salvation Aura, and you might need to bring some prayer potions. Holy Overloads, or any similar variation, can also help keep your prayer topped up while simultaneously boosting your DPS and increasing your XP per hour. Now let's talk about a lower end setup, specifically if you don't have Soul Spit unlocked yet. Given that Vyas are a popular training method, it's quite likely that you don't have Soul Spit unlocked, because you're currently grinding for it. If you do not have Soul Spit unlocked, you'll need another method for sustaining your HP, which brings me on to the low end setup. Here's an example of a budget setup for Vyas where you don't have Soul Split. The main difference between this and the Soul Split setup is the emphasis on magic defense uh, through using ranged tank armor. The Sun Spear gives a 50% hit chance bonus versus Vyas, so even with ranged tank armor, you still have 100% accuracy, so all you're losing is a little strength and prayer bonus versus the power armor. Vyas do magic damage, so ranged armor boosts your defense, and you'll still have 100% accuracy against Vyas with the Sun Spear anyway. So this idea is not quite as weird as it initially sounds. Instead of Soul Split, You'll be praying Protect from Mage, and probably have Piety as well if you have it unlocked. 
To sustain your health, I'd recommend any of the following. Vampirism Aura. Vampiric Blood Essence, which is a reward from Lord of the Vampirium. Enhanced Excalibur. Or Bunyips. Obviously, you can mix and match and use any of these that you have access to. In your inventory, regardless of your setup, you're going to want Runes for High Alchemy, a Gem Bag, and Seed Aside. Otherwise, you won't have the inventory space for all their drops. Seed Aside should be put on the tool belt if you have that unlocked. To Seed Aside, you'll likely want to Seed Aside everything except Quam Seeds if you're a Mainscaper, as none of the other seeds are actually valuable. If you're an Iron Man, then you might want to keep Torso Seeds and Cadentine Seeds too, plus anything else that your account might need at that point in time. You can get around 100k farming XP per hour with Seed Aside at Vyas, so it's definitely worth the investment over just leaving them on the ground. Draken's Medallion is the best way to get to Darkmire, and it's a quest reward from the branches of Darkmire, so you'll already have it if you unlock the Sun Spear. Enhanced Excalibur is a useful unlock from the Seer's Area Tasks, which can heal you for about 4000 HP every 5 minutes, as well as boost your defense if you don't have overloads. Holy Overloads will help sustain your prayer if you don't have auras to regain your prayer, as well as boost your DPS and reduce the damage you take. Similarly, prayer potions will be needed if you aren't using the Corruption Auras, and it's always worth bringing at least one piece of high healing food, just in case you get into trouble. I have some example revolution bars you can copy for each of the combat styles I've taken from the wiki. As you're using the Sun Spear, you can't dual wield. Magic will probably give you the highest ceiling in terms of DPS and XP per hour, followed by range, followed by melee. But this is contingent on having unlocked the key AoE abilities for these combat styles, like the Corruption Blast and Shot you get from Mazcab, Greater Chain from Raksha, the ultimate DPS boosting abilities you get from Wild Wakes, and even perks like Karaming. Some of these can cost millions of GP, and if you don't have them, I find that melee gives slightly better DPS rates personally. Your mileage may vary though, and all combat styles are viable at Vyas. Next up, I'll cover three spots to stand at. Each spot will lead to a different number of Vyas aggroing onto you. The more Vyas that you aggro, the better your XP rates will be, but you'll also need a better setup to sustain without dying, or having to eat food so frequently that the method becomes less AFK. First, the highest XP spot rate is a large tree near the southwest of the bank. There are five Vyas that spawn here. I've got a map on screen showing where you should stand, where the Vyas spawn, and where they sometimes get stuck. If they get stuck in those areas, you can typically run and kill them so they respawn and don't get stuck second time around. Note that opening this door over here can also lead to the Vyas that spawn in this building aggroing as well. This will increase your XP rates, but you'll have to keep opening the door every few minutes so it becomes a lot less AFK. Spot B is an intermediate spot near the south of Darkmire. There are three Vyas that spawn here. Like last time, I have a map on screen showing where the vampires can spawn. You can also open the nearby doors I've highlighted to aggro more Vyas, but if you're going to do that, you might as well just sit at the previous spot. I would say that this spot is almost never taken, so if you're on a Slayer task to kill just 100 or so Vyas, it can be worth settling for this spot as it might not be worth the time world hopping to find an empty world for the spot by the tree with 5 Vyas. Lastly, Spot C lets you fight just 2 Vyas at a time, so it's the easiest spot if your setup can't handle taking on too many Vyas at the same time. There's actually several two via spots you can fight them at, but this location up near the prayer altar is normally regarded the best because you can restock your prayer if it gets low and save on supplies. Your experience and GP rates will depend on how many vias you can kill per hour, as well as whether you have the Mauritania Legs 4 unlocked for that 50% XP boost. From my own testing, I was able to kill about 650 vias per hour at spot A, 490 vias per hour at spot B, and 390 vias per hour at spot C whilst remaining fully AFK. Every Vi works out at 420 prayer XP and 300 fire making XP if you have 90 plus in those stats and are wearing the Mauritania Legs 4. They also drop an average of about 7000 GP per kill at current grand exchange rates. So, this corresponds to the following XP rates and GP per hour for each of the spots. Please note that these are not the maximum XP rates you can get here, just the XP rates I got on my Iron Man whilst being fully AFK. With better gear and unlocks, especially in the magic style, you can expect XP rates pushing 350k per hour XP or even higher. Still, the rates shown here should be achievable even with a relatively budget setup and give a good idea of what an average player might get in each spot. I hope you found this guide useful and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe as well as leave a comment for future guides you might want to see. RuneScape is a massive game with thousands of possible account permutations when it comes to individual players, so if you have a question related to VAR training and your specific account, let me know.
I do read every single comment and I try my best to reply to most of them. Good luck and happy slaying.